Hey guys, as requested, I'm going to review a What I Eat in a Day video by Adam Wood. I've ran 218 in the marathon and I run up to 100 miles a week. What does a full day of eating look like for me? For some reason, my body type and how much I eat is being debated all over the internet. Seriously, this video that was made about me a few months ago. It's not about your body type, it's that you look incredibly malnourished and it's probably because of how much you run, but we'll see what he eats. Has over a million views and I receive comments daily debating on if I'm eating enough, if I'm running too much. Well, today... Was that the skeleton running? The dude don't have a single ounce of muscle? Yes, exactly, that's what happens. Uh, running is very catabolic for the body. I'm gonna show you what I eat today. Right now I'm in the thick of training, which means that my nutrition is extremely important. That being said, today I have a track workout, a cross training session in the afternoon, and then weights also in the afternoon. So we got a busy day today. Before we get started, I... It's almost impossible to eat enough to maintain your weight when you exercise so incredibly much, seeing as it's just too much stress for the body. I have a few ground rules. I actually only have one rule. I'm not asking you to not judge me, but what I am asking you guys is when you do judge me, keep in mind that I'm just out here fighting for my life. I got a lot going on. I literally fly by the seat of my pants. So meals are sketchy, everything's sketchy, but we're gonna get through it. 90 minutes out from a workout race, I'm always trying to eat a food source with carbs and a little bit of protein in there as well. So today, a bagel with peanut butter and some bananas. Sometimes I'll have oatmeal in the morning with peanut butter. A bagel with peanut butter and bananas. Bagels have nothing, just fiber, sugar, anti-nutrients, pesticides, glyphosate, really toxic for the body, incredibly unhealthy. Bananas nowadays are super sprayed. Okay, you have the peel, which uh, protects it, so to speak. Uh, most of the pesticides may not get into the actual banana which you're eating. But then again, bananas, again, only have fiber, sugar, and yeah, sure, some minerals unlike the bread which is full of anti-nutrients and doesn't let you absorb any minerals but then when you eat the bread with the fruit together or with any kind of food then you're not getting the minerals because of the anti-nutrients in the bagel so you're just ruining the banana not that bananas are good in general but uh, at least you could get something out of it now you get nothing out of it and again peanut butter has even more anti-nutrients <laughs> such as phytic acid it also has aflatoxins which is really toxic for the body it's just a horrible meal overall <laughs> well but i had a bad experience with that recently oh my God. turn of events i just vomited my breakfast so we're shaking it up a little yes again because it's so much stress for the body you don't want to go straight carbs you also want a little bit of protein in there to kind of keep you full keep you satiated and all that good stuff so find what works for your morning routine and then slowly branch out from there <laughs> Today we have five by eight four. Between eight four, 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 and then twenty six minutes and thirty seconds rest. I'm a little tired today. We'll see how. Yeah, I'm here with Brando. <laughs> a little tired. You're probably tired every day. Come on, man. I looked up his age. He's supposedly twenty four years old. If that's the correct information. What I mostly notice is that he has dark eye circles. Obviously, pretty much all runners do, and he must have them because he runs so much and also under eye bags, which shows you his exhaustion. He doesn't even have to say that he's tired. The king eh, just finished his warm-up routine. We're gonna do some strides and then we're gonna get this party rolling because we got places to be. It's as far away from a party as it could be. This is absolute torture. I'm gonna be honest, guys. You know, we're trying to keep positive attitude out here. We're trying to get it done and have that mindset. So I'm, I'm, this is the last thing I'm gonna say about it. But you know, I probably flew a little close to the sun earlier this week in my double T. I, I extended the warm-ups and the cooldown, so I got like a whole lot of my... He looks incredibly bony, like his arms are about to snap off. Uh, do you see what I mean? Especially in the shoulder area. And of course he's skinny. He only ate a bagel with banana and peanut butter. The so-called food is not even bioavailable. If he wants to get enough micro and macronutrients, then he needs to eat basically only animal foods. Drink a lot of raw milk, for example. I was two days ago. So I'm feeling a little tired, but you know what? We're gonna get it done. Whatever happens, happens. I think that the reason why I'm nervous is because I want this workout to go well. So I just gotta kind of let go of that and like whatever my body gives me today is what I take. And if it's slower, faster, we'll just let it be, but. I can only imagine that something went wrong in his childhood, some kind of trauma, which is why he does this. That's the case with almost all of the people who do extreme sports, who really want to destroy themselves. This kind of self-destructive behavior is really no different than uh, somebody who uses drugs, a heroin addict, for example, 
It destroys you just as much, if not even more. Arguably, he even looks worse than a drug addict. Basically, he's just running around in a circle like a hamster on this man-made ground for no reason at all. You couldn't even do that in nature. In nature, there's nature everywhere, as in uh, lots of plants, trees, bushes. You can't just run like that. In very few places, such as in deserts, where you wouldn't want to run anyway, you could actually somewhat freely run like that. And uh, it would, of course, not be comparable to this, where you can just openly run. This is created for slaves. He has to understand that he's a slave because he fell for this. And now he's running on a slave pavement, ground, whatever you want to call it. In a circle, just reducing his lifespan and making himself unhealthy. That's the only outcome here. He's only reducing his lifespan by decades. What's with all of these uh, timings? Time doesn't even exist. You're just calculating man-made numbers in your head. Wake up. <laughs> If you run as much as he does and eat as little as he does, then you're definitely gonna lose a lot of weight. Muscle and fat, there's zero surprise that he looks like that. Here's what they say. They say that you have a window after you work out, you gotta get food like within 30 minutes. Got a core power, 42 grams of protein. People have mixed feelings on protein drinks. I try to only drink one day anyway. I like to try and get most of my protein and like just calories from like real food, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And they also give me a free banana with the core power. So we're eating good. Make sure you get- He says real food, but he doesn't actually eat real food from what I've seen so far. And of course, the protein in these protein drinks is not uh, bioavailable. I hope that that's needless to say. Food right after your workout, whatever. Calories right after go a long way in helping your recovery. It, like jump starts your recovery. So. Okay, guys. Um, obviously, first meal post workout. You know, this is more like lunch food. It's a little early for lunch. I'll have a second lunch probably. Chicken quesadilla with a salad on the side. I gotta like hurry and go to work. So this is like all like leftover stuff that's already been made. Sometimes my meals they look good and they're like good and I have veggies and it's like balanced. Other times it's like not balanced at all. So we're trying to be better. Okay. Now I'm starting to think that he has an eating disorder. Who would run so much and then eat a salad, which is completely pointless? Only pesticides, fiber, and water, not even any micronutrients. Completely pointless. It's only to stuff yourself full of fiber, which is indigestible. <laughs> you will only get gas out of salads, especially one like that. You could have a salad with cheese and whatnot. And then he had chicken quesadillas, which I believe is just bread with chicken and maybe something else. But it looked like it was mostly bread. This is really close to starvation. I'm hungry. Let's eat. What, what are we eating? What are we eating? I don't know. Not sure what we're going to eat today for our second lunch. I don't know. I'm going to find something. Toast with some type of seasoning. Ah, there's something really wrong with him. It is so incredibly clear why he looks the way he looks. At this point, he should have ate one kilogram of meat, over one liter of raw milk, and uh, around 10 eggs to even keep up his weight. <laughs> yes, when you look at how much he runs, that's what he should have ate to actually just maintain his weight. Eating bread, again, he only eats... Sugar, fiber, pesticides, and anti-nutrients for the most part. Hardly any protein. The protein from the drink was obviously not bioavailable, as I said. And um, where's the fat? Uh, are those eggs maybe the first somewhat okay meal? And stuff. Then we got a bowl, yogurt bowl. Uh, okay, some yogurt. Of course, it's pasteurized. Sure, okay, you will get something out of that with some strawberries again, more sugar. But his meals are mostly carb, as in sugar-based. Carbohydrates are literally sugar. That's why he's losing weight. He needs to eat mostly fat, a lot of animal fat, and protein, and then carbohydrates. It's the other way around. <laughs> it couldn't be any clearer why he looks so incredibly malnourished. I'm just saying that, like, I don't, I feel weird, like, posting videos of myself, like, actually eating on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I think it's fine. I don't think it's fine. I think people don't want to see that. What? I feel like it's satisfying watching someone eat. Like, I actually kind of enjoy watching someone eat. 
you're weird for that. <laughs> Guys, comment down below if Mika's weird for enjoying watching people eat. You usually want to watch people eat if you have an eating disorder, you're starving, you're fasting, again, starving. Those kind of people are obsessed with food and that's why they love to watch other people eat because they really eat what they actually themselves want to eat. I have never enjoyed watching somebody eat something. Okay. Okay, so I'm in the middle of doing some schoolwork. I made myself uh, like like a meat and cheese veggie sandwich on some pita bread and I just warmed it up in the oven. It's really good actually. Um, this is kind of like... The Again, bread, but I guess that heats some meat at least. A little bit the fourth meal. It's kind of like a staple for me. So... Yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> Oh my god, you eat so much bread, what is wrong with you? The meat portion should be as big as the bread portion, but how much meat is there even? What kind of meat is that? Some kind of processed meat? It's just some garbage, again, some kind of greens? He mostly eats bread throughout the day. Bread is the worst possible food a human being could eat. There's just almost nothing unhealthier on earth than bread, because bread only has... Fiber, sugar, absolutely no micronutrients. The only macronutrient bread has is um, carbohydrates. When you look it up, you will see that there's also some protein, but the protein is actually mostly gluten. And no, gluten is not only found in wheat. Gluten is found in all of the grains. It's just a different kind of gluten, and that's why they don't call it gluten, but it's actually the same thing. And it's indigestible, which is why when you read that there is protein in bread, you're actually looking at indigestible gluten for the most part, which actually means that there's no protein. You're really just eating sugar for the most part. Looks nice, no? A couple hours. School drains me. Yeah, school drains everybody. School is torture for the most part. But you already drain yourself with the running and then uh, with the school, you're just doing too much all day long. It's way too much stress. It looks like he eats often enough, considering how stressful his life is, the same way a bodybuilder should eat a lot, but he just eats completely the wrong things. That's the problem here. He eats the wrong food. It's clear. Just doing schoolwork, a couple hours, sending some emails. We're done, we're ready to go. Uh, again, I don't like to eat too many of stuff like this just because like, I want like real food, but again, I... But you don't even eat real food when you supposedly eat real food. <laughs> not really too picky on what I eat, so... And this is like a carbohydrate bar. So really it's not even a protein bar, it's just... Man, come on, a carbohydrate bar. All that you eat are freaking carbohydrates. It's like 90% of what you eat. Straight carbs, I think it's for like pre-fueling, so... Uh, but it's got 200 calories, which is nice. I never know how this is gonna look after I edit it. Like, I don't, I don't know. So this could either be like the worst day of eating or the best day of eating. We're gonna find out. I don't it's not the worst, but it's one of the worst. Um, you could be vegan or vegetarian. That would be even worse. Even though you don't really eat a lot of meat whatsoever, you're pretty close to being a vegetarian. If you actually want to gain weight, then you do need to eat a lot of carbohydrates to spike your insulin. But then, along with the carbohydrates, you need to eat a lot of animal fat and meat. He doesn't do that. I don't even know, so... Ah. <laughs> and then he... Oh my god! Then he walks the stairs on a machine. Come on, there's no stairs in nature. And there's most certainly no machines which have uh, stairs on them in nature. What are you doing, man? People in nature, when they see huge hills, they always avoid them because it's incredibly exhausting for the body to go upwards on a steep hill especially, and you're walking stairs for no reason. Again, just to age your body and to lose all of your muscle. His whole day of eating and his lifestyle is catabolic. Okay, everybody, we just got back. Why would you lift weights when you don't eat anything that's gonna build muscle? Back from the gym, uh, getting ready to eat some dinner. We got some stroganoff cooking in the pot. It's been cooking in the crock pot all day. So uh, we're gonna have that. We're also gonna have a lovely salad. Um, it's actually my favorite salad. So if you get anything out of this video, it's a salad recipe. And secondly, when it comes to a sweet treat, you know I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna have at least one per day. Problem is we don't have a sweet treat. I'm going to the store and I'm gonna get us a little something something to have for dessert because I believe it's important to treat yourself. 
All right, guys, bag secured. They're Pillsbury. You know, we ain't messing around. Ladies with gentle hands, this is my alter ego. I need the mox in. Welcome to another day of cooking with Adam. Today, we got something a little special. Guys, I'm not a huge fan of salad, but this one actually is really good. So, Mika discovered it. How'd you discover it? She discovered it on Google, and uh, yeah, I've stuck with this ever since. So get a good bowl of kale, okay? Uh, your, the ingredients you're gonna need are some cherries. These are cherries, right? Yeah, dry cherries. Dry cherries, dump those in, okay? Green apple. Oh my God, kale is the most toxic vegetable on earth. Why am I even surprised to see this? Bowls, we cut up two whole green apples into cubes like this, dump it in. Chopped pecans, dump it in, okay? Radishes. Uh, I don't really like radishes, but honestly, you can't taste them in the salad that much. You also don't like the kale. Stop eating stuff that you don't like, you slave. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. So, dump it in. Okay, now <laughs> for the part... I don't like it. Dump it in. The part that all of you guys are gonna be scared about, it's goat cheese. Let me tell you something. Goat cheese is really good. Goat, che goat cheese is good. Uh, the whole salad, 90% of the salad should be goat cheese. These hits. So, if you haven't had it, you should try it. Um, yeah, okay. So I just do this with my fingers, just like that. Man handling. He probably looks at this and believes that he's eating a lot and then also wonders, wait, I eat so much, why am I losing weight? Everybody watching it, why is he losing weight? He eats so much, you're eating nothing. The goat cheese is the only actual food in the salad. The rest is indigestible. Again, mostly fiber and water, not even micronutrients. A lot of toxins. I choose with my hands. I'm cutting this part out. Okay, and salad is not good without the dressing, to be honest with you, because... Yes, yeah, salad is horrible. Everybody hates salads. They only eat salads because of the cheese, some kind of meat, ideally, or because of the dressings. That's it. It's the only reason. Who just likes to eat a whole bunch of fruits and veggies plain? We have a... Nobody, because we're not supposed to eat them, because the vegetables that you're eating don't exist in nature. Uh, Dijon, mustard, white wine vinegar, maple syrup, olive oil, dressing. You guys, this is a sweet and tangy salad. It's really good, if I do say so myself. Okay, and I've also never really tossed this salad before, so... Okay, I really gotta say that this is possibly the worst salad I've ever seen. And uh, one of the reasons for that is that it's such a huge salad. Nobody on earth looks at it and wants to eat it. Just nobody, because it looks green. And green is for sheep and cows. A human being doesn't look at green leaves and thinks that it's food. Our sense is completely cancel it out. Dude, it smells so good. Sorry, on the menu we got this. Stop lying, what do you mean? The dressing, maybe, but not the plants, right? It's out today, obviously, but we also have a stroganoff. Okay guys, it's been a long day, I'm really tired. Vlogging all day is actually like not a very fun activity, but you know, we're pushing through it. Last thing of the day, it's about eight o'clock-ish right now. This will try the cinnamon roll. I'm gonna try it on camera and I'm gonna take the rest downstairs to my room and eat it like a rat. I always just try- Again, just carbohydrates, antinutrients, pesticides, just absolute poison. <laughs> try to like have something right before I go to bed, just to like, you know, top me off. Um, today's cinnamon rolls, tomorrow, who knows what it'll be, but that's it. Let me just give you a quick summary of how I approach eating. I'm going to be really quick because this video is already long enough. Um, I don't count calories. I just am trying to eat as much as I can throughout the day. That's good. You should eat as much as your body needs, except when you're eating unnatural food. And that's the problem. If he ate such a huge bowl of animal foods, then he would be satiated. He wouldn't even be as hungry anymore afterwards. But because he eats foods with so little micronutrients and with such... Uh, bio unavailable protein he will of course be hungry non-stop today i try and have a lot of meals um you know they're not always the biggest meals and i try not to be hungry throughout the day because honestly especially marathon training once you're hungry it means you should have already had food like 30 minutes ago absolutely zero surprise that he looks the way he looks after seeing what he eats it's not about how much he eats because he tries to eat a lot it's that he's most likely misinformed about what he has to eat because the food that he eats, if you can even call it food, is over 80, if not even 90% fake. Most of it doesn't even exist in nature. The protein is not bioavailable. There's hardly any micronutrients, which is why you will be hungry all of the time. But of course, even macronutrient wise, he's not getting enough because uh, he didn't get enough animal fat for sure. There were some eggs from what I understood, 
some kind of lean meat in between the huge slices of bread, but otherwise pretty much nothing. He eats mostly plants. He eats a plant-based diet. <laughs> That can only lead to malnutrition anyway, but if you're running so much and then going to the gym also and walking stairs for no reason, what the hell was that? Then you're of course going to lose a lot of weight. <laughs> it's just, I, I don't understand how somebody can look at what he eats in a day and then not see why he looks so incredibly starved and malnourished. There's just zero surprise. It's crystal clear what's going on here. Thanks for watching.